Hey, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna to talk about how I got my first software developer job without a CS degree. And so first things first, I kind of just wanna set the expectations here. This video isn't gonna cover all the algorithms and data structures and you know technical stuff I studied, uh, computer science stuff. Uh, I isn't gonna talk about, or I'm not gonna talk about the personal projects I built and how long I took to get job ready. This video is not about that. Although I will go more in depth with how I prepared to become a software developer in a different video. In this video specifically, I kind of just want to cover how I was able to find my very first job, essentially. And so little background, as I was saying earlier, I don't have a CS degree. Uh, I'm completely self-taught and I had no internship experience to speak of. So uh, the reason why it was a lot harder for me to get my first job was because uh, because I didn't have a CS degree, I wasn't able to apply to internships because internships are only available to CS students. So because of that, a lot of companies discounted me because I didn't actually have any real world experience. Um, and yeah, I was self-taught. So people didn't really want to take the chance on me because I didn't take the formal route. So it was just a lot harder and also compounded with the fact that I was, or my niche in software engineering was with iOS. So um yeah, it's, it's important to pick a niche, but for me, I feel like I kind of like made it even harder for myself because iOS jobs are, the bar is a lot higher in Seattle, I feel. But anyways, yeah, so for me, I had a really hard time looking for jobs. I think I spent close to like eight months or so job hunting before I got my first gig. And might I add too that my first job was not super well paying, um, especially like for me, like for me as a self-taught developer, my goal wasn't to land like a six figure job right out of the gate. Um, I think it was to be a bit more reasonable. My very first job, the pay was terrible. Like I'll just put that out there. It wasn't that great, but the goal of my first job was to essentially get my foot in the door. And I think that's the most important thing here. If you can get your foot in the door, that's the start of your career. You know, even if it's a really low paying job, that's like the foothold you need to be able to get the experience. So then you can eventually go to another job and then get a raise and then like start making more money, which is what happened with me. I went from making a really low wage to a pretty decent livable wage uh, in my next job. And then afterwards, I'll able to make a really outstanding wage at Amazon. So it's important to kind of be realistic and set the expectation that your very first job will probably not be the best role and it probably won't be the role that you stake your career at. So just keep that in mind, you know, your first, cause when you get your first job, you don't really know what you want in a job. So just think of it as kind of like finding yourself in a way. So just keep that in mind, you know, like your first job may not be the greatest thing in the world and that's totally fine. And so the one thing I want to go over is the way I was able to find my very first job was by using LinkedIn. And so LinkedIn is a very powerful tool. Um, you should probably already know what it is at this point. It's just a social network for professionals of all different backgrounds. Um, and so with my, and so with my first job, I was able to use LinkedIn to scour profiles of recruiters and, you know, CEOs, founders and stuff like that and message them, you know, start networking, connecting with them, start messaging, all that stuff. And that's actually how I found my first job. So for me, I was in contact with a lot of recruiters, but um, the reason why then that didn't really work out was because again, since I was self-taught, didn't have any internship experience, you know, had a few personal projects and stuff like that. These recruiters were recruiting for professional companies. So I was up against CS students. I was up against, um, you know, just other more established candidates. So of course, even if I knew my stuff, which I did, um, I just on paper could not compare to the companies that these recruiters were hiring for. And so for me, I took a different route. I thought to myself, okay, well, if I can't find a conventional job through conventional means, then I need to do something different. And so for me, I'm like, okay, well, what if there's a startup around here in the Seattle Bellevue area that I can go intern at or something? And so what I did was I went on LinkedIn and I found a bunch of companies like startups that dealt with mobile apps. Cause again, you know, my niche was in iOS. That's what I wanted to be an iOS developer. And so I spent a lot of time 
uh, digging through profiles and looking at who was hiring and just reaching out and be like, hey, you know, do you have any positions? Would you be willing to have an unpaid internship? Um, and I had some bites here and there, you know, some companies were like, okay, yeah, you know, like we have an internship, you want to come in for an interview? And so by just looking for a company, startup companies and like the founders of those companies on LinkedIn, I was able to uh, just network with them and actually get some and actually start making some progress. So I would start talking with them and they would say, oh, well, we will be hiring iOS developers soon. Or they have sort of like, um, I guess like a junior developer or even just an internship, I guess. I think, yeah, I interviewed at one company that was an internship. I didn't get it for some reason, but yeah, just reach out to founders of small startups and that could be your way in, you know, just strike up a conversation, ask if there's any positions available for your particular uh, niche, you know, like iOS, Android, whatever, and just see where it leads you. Um, you never know. I mean, it's not like the most surefire way to get a job, but it's how I got my first job. So it's something for you to check out. And so real quick, we're just going to hop onto my monitor right here. Uh, and I kind of just want to show you guys uh, what kind of search queries you can try on LinkedIn to find profiles, um, just little things you can do to further like narrow down your search. So you aren't just typing in things blindly on LinkedIn, looking for positions like this is the exact strategy I used to find these jobs. Um, so it's going to require a little bit of digging. It's going to take some time, but it's well worth it, especially if uh, you have no idea if you're not having any luck, you know, submitting your resumes or whatever. It's definitely worth it to try this. Trust me. So yeah, without further ado, let's go on to my monitor. All right. So now we're going to look at how I was able to find um, like startup founders and recruiters and stuff on LinkedIn. So it's pretty simple. All you do is uh, you go up here. And for me specifically, what I did was uh, since I was looking for iOS roles, I would just type in like hiring iOS. And so what this does is it actually can find the specific keyword on somebody's profile. So this isn't just recruiters. This also extends to uh, other hiring managers or uh, senior engineers at companies, you know, just people who can make uh, decisions on hiring besides recruiters. And so uh, let's just see what this brings up. So like hiring iOS, uh, pretty straightforward. So hiring iOS. And yeah, um, as you can see right here, so for example, I already have this person's uh, profile brought up because I found it kind of interesting. So we look at this guy, Alex Makov. So engineering leader. Okay, so he's not a recruiter. He's an engineering leader. So this is like, a, he's like a tech leader or something for a specific team at OfferUp. So yeah, software engineering manager. He's hiring at OfferUp. And he's saying, yeah, we are hiring. So, so if I contact this guy right here, he might have positions for me, you know, regarding iOS, Android, web backend engineers. So yeah, I mean, he says message me to learn more. So, I mean, he could potentially, someone like him could potentially be your avenue to a new job. So it's just stuff like this, you know, you just type in hiring iOS and you can even see like it, it's highlighted right here, like hiring, you know, uh, I'm hiring right here. And a uh, quick aside, this guy right here, Priyatham Anisetti, I'm pretty sure I worked. Oh, yeah. You see, look, past iOS lead developer Best Buy. I actually worked with this guy. Um, so, yeah, just funny thing. I guess he's hiring now. He's a senior engineering manager, so might hit him up back for my old job. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but, yeah, you see right here, this guy, he's hiring iOS, Android. Same thing. So that's all you have to do. It's that simple. Um, as you can see, I think she's she's a recruiter right here. I mean, you could still try her, of course. I'm not saying you can't, but typing in stuff like hiring iOS, hiring backend, hiring, you know, full stack, whatever can help bring more profiles you wouldn't see that aren't recruiters. You know, people like this guy right here, he's a software engineering manager. You probably wouldn't find that if you were just looking specifically for recruiters, um, which I guess now that we're here, I also want to bring up something else. So if you aren't just looking for startup jobs, if you're trying to like find recruiters, which a recruiter is the best way, ideally, that you can get um, a job at a company, right? Like next to referrals, a recruiter is the best thing because they work directly with the company. So now that we're here, I kind of just want to uh, go over that really quickly. So 
instead of hiring iOS, you could just say something like, um, say you want to work at Dropbox, Dropbox uh, recruiter or a technical recruiter. So yeah, you see right here, senior technical recruiter at Dropbox. So you could just send them an invite and, you know, just say, hey, I'm in the market for uh, certain positions. Um, do you have any available? You know, just be friendly, introduce yourself, give uh, intro into your background, you know, what experiences do you have? What technologies are you good at? Uh, just to sort of like set the expectation for the recruiter because uh, they probably get bombarded with messages. And if you just say like, hey, do you have any jobs available? That doesn't give them much information. But if you say, hey, uh, I'm this type of developer. Here's my experience. Here's what I do. Do you have anything at your company that would fit my specific profile? And so, yeah, if you want to do that with the recruiter route, you know, just type in the company name, then recruiter or company name and technical recruiter, both achieve the same, same results. Um, and you'll find a lot of people and just, you know, connect with all of them, send them a little personalized messages, and then just begin networking from there. You know, just do this rinse and repeat for a bunch of different companies you want to work for. And yeah, I mean, that's a pretty solid way to get leads for jobs. I mean, when I was seriously doing this after my first position, when I was looking before I got hired at Best Buy, I was doing this and I was just grinding, you know, hours of, you know, I was just grinding away, talking with recruiters, like every other day, scheduling calls. It was really busy, you know, because finding a job in itself is time consuming. It's not just something that you can just, it's not a, a quick process, right? There's, it's really involved and it can take a long time, sometimes months. Um, so yeah, if you just use LinkedIn like this, you know, it's very simple, uh, surefire way to find people that you can connect with and potentially uh, get a job. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I want to help you guys uh, find your first position. You know, I know how tough it is to actually get your your first job. So um, I, I know that pain. And if I could help, you know, help other people have it easier, then, you know, why not? So I hope you like this video. If you found it informative, you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. I make lots of helpful content related to working in the tech industry. So there'll be a lot more videos like this. So so that's going to do it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.